Hello and welcome to Sullivan's Farm. We knocked a bit of this stuff today, about nine acres, uh, for, for what passes as a, oh, mind the long grass, what passes as a first cut around here. I don't have any silage ground or dedicated silage ground. I just take out a certain number of paddocks around this time of the year and that's our first cut. So a bit of a difference between some of the paddocks, like where, where we're walking through and now, um, it's probably the best quality stuff. Now I'm going to mark the bales to get a sense of whether it was or it wasn't the best quality stuff. But when it was being cut today and looking at it here now, it seems fairly leafy. There's not an awful lot of stem in it. Very little of it had headed out. And I'm hoping that's, that's a good sign. So it's kind of hard to see in the sun now. Overall, happy enough with this, these paddocks anyway. We'll go out and look at some of the other ones there now um, that were, I suppose I hadn't checked them in a week, but they could have been cut maybe last week. There's a little bit more stem in those. This then is the stemmier type stuff. It is a little bit heavier too than what was out in the first couple of paddocks. So. Again, it'll be interesting to see the quality of the bales that come from these couple of paddocks versus the quality of the ones that were cut in the other paddocks where it is a bit leafier, there wasn't any grass heading out um, and we seem to have hit it at the right time. This is the, the third set of paddocks that was cut today then as well. Probably the lightest of the, the three different sets of paddocks. And hopefully again, it'll be nice leafy stuff and it'll be of good quality. We'll rake it up tomorrow morning, bale it after that. And I'll start throwing them, a few of them into the yard here, cleared a bit of space there. And most of them then will go out into the fields, the first field we were looking at there, where there's going to be fodder rape set there. Do out winter the Wainlands this year. We raked it up there after dinner today and then bailed it this evening. So I'm just doing a bit of tidying up now. Most of these, or all of these I should say, will stay out in the field. I'll line them up down there and over in the other paddock as well, because this is where the, the fodder rape is going this year. So they'll be grazed in situ, and the rest of them then will go into the air. There's probably not enough in this field to keep us going on the fodder rape. So the second cut that'll be taken off this these couple of paddocks in um, whatever six weeks time those bales will stay out here as well so I think we need between 50 and 60 bales out here to keep the Wainlands going we've got 25 from the two paddocks at the moment so that's I think just over seven an acre which I'm happy enough with one new toy that I've been threatening to get since this time last year when I got a loan of one off a very good neighbor is um, this hydraulic top link I picked it up this morning so that makes lifting up and down the bales very easy and I'm much less likely to put a hole in any of them. Your head's getting screwed, and, and so on. One on the front, and one on the back, but the row is short, so we're not going too bad. Just like that, we're going out for the one I was looking for, since it started about half four or five o'clock yesterday evening. And there it is, the one we were looking for, the last one in the field. We have the bales drawn in, as well as the ones lined up out in the field. Now, if you like a nice, neat, block type of stack up of bales, look away now. Uh, because this is kind of what we have here, but it'll do. The cattle won't mind. As long as the stuff is good, they'll be happy enough. So. Our first cut is done. There's about 70 bales there. 
we'll few, cut a few more paddocks there next week. Um, could have cut them this week, but sure, look, at, I wasn't sure of grass growth, which is to say I wasn't sure of the weather. Um, so we'll cut them next week instead. We'll have another 30-ish bales maybe off those couple of paddocks. And we'll be slowly getting there. We'll have a second cut, um, as I said, in about six weeks' time. And then we'll see where we're at for the winter after that. The other ones then are lined up out here. There was 25 here, brought out five more. So there is however many here and however many over by the ditch there. And we put the second cut out here as well. And hopefully then once we have the 50, that'll be enough for the Wainlands that'll be out here. So we'll see how that goes. As well as silage being on the agenda this week, we were bringing the young lads over, training them for the, the jobs in the shed as well. So here's a look at them in action. Very good, Alex. Now, are you gonna help Dad? Yeah, I'll mix, I'll measure oh, out the powder. That's and then what I was trying to tell you about the mix. What was that? Do you know when I What's it say in the first one there? 11 plus what? Uh, 1.5, so that's 12.5. Uh, updatation. I thought it was updatation. What's 7 and 5? 12. This is the magic. Now, who's gonna whisk it first? I'll whisk it next. You can whisk, whisk the next one. Yeah. Take your time, there's no rush. Another one? 15. Yeah. 15. 15 and 5. 15. 20. Yeah. 20. So that's 2 kgs. Now mix so. Yep. Good luck. Super stuff. Have the technique, haven't you? Leave the whisk beside the the bucket then. Slugs, slugs, slugs. I wanna watch. Yep. See how quick they drink. Yeah. Wait. One, two, three. Now, Evie. Oh, you're watching there. Oh, you get a chance. Now, Al, you can come down here. So, or do you want to watch him drinking? Just throw it on top there, top them up for the morn. Jeez, this one at the end is drinking fast anyway. Is she drinking very fast, is she? Yeah. She's very hungry. What do you think, Al? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the goals. Good man. Yeah, yeah. So one. that's one. Yeah. Two. This one. Okay. Now, uh, you can do the bucket and the thing in a minute. So we just fill another few bits into this. Yeah. What's your favourite job, Evan? Yeah. <laughs> Messing with water. Why wouldn't it be your favourite job? Alex. There you go. Thank you. Well, I what can I do now? I do not ask Dad and see if there's anything else you can do. Well done, Alex. Yeah.
great job. And they did a great job too, in fairness to the two of them. They did their own little jobs as well as the, the rest of us. And farming is a great job when you can bring over the young lads like that and give them some nice positive memories. You can get the silage cut and saved and all that kind of thing as well. And there's a sense of the turning point in the year as well when the first cut is out of the way and it, there's at least some silage there for the, the winter ahead. So thanks a million for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck.